All right, we back, we back. Talos Principle Two, Episode Two. Um, I I thought this game ran on Serious Engine, but it's actually running on Unreal Engine. Cool, whatever. It don't matter. Optimizing for, for your system down, uh, bottom left. I don't know what I don't know what that means. Maybe I should wait. Maybe it doesn't start before that uh, the loading bar ends. Anyways. Oh man, today. Today I've just kind of had a fucking shitty start today, bro. Like I always. I have a lot of shit personally, okay, and I have this expectation that the shit that I have will be pristine when I until when I move out. But I have to remember that I live with my parents, who are uh, ignorant of the fact that many things can degrade when they're left outside. You know, they're just kind of stupid, bro. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. That is just retarded. I took with me home a uh, cable, cable roll, like where you put, your, where you can put your cables, basically. No, I mean, there is a uh, roll where the cable is wound up on. You know, it's wooden. I took one of them home, thought I would make a coffee table, but the motherfuckers left it outside, bro, and I was like rotting. Whatever, man. Living with retards, bro. I'm sorry. I know it's kind of. Should not say it, but you know. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's not the key. It is not the key. This one is easy enough. You need a red. That be blue and green. Um Can I Does it work? It does not, they actually thought of it. I should not be bugging this shit anyway, bro. Like I should be playing this game like it's supposed to. If you're playing the game how, how it's was supposed to be meant to play, you know. Uh, let me think. Um, I gotta have something on here. Red, I need blue. Oh, I know, I know what I have to do. I know. There we go. There we go, that, that was kind of easy enough though. Go next. Oh, and those Keep fire things? One, okay? Let's see where it leads. They're, uh, they're a clue, basically. That's pretty easy, I mean like... God damn, there's music right here now. I ran the samples I collected so far. The soil sample results are in line with what would be expected in this type of environment. The samples from the above ground structures, though, I tried dating them, but the results just don't make sense. None of the typical molecular markers are present. These walls could have been made 10,000 years ago or yesterday. I could try to estimate an age based on erosion and plant growth, but I'm not sure that would make sense given how weird everything else is. Good work, Yakut. Keep at it. Yeah, Kutz is a scavenger, so the info he giving uh, giving us is kind of kind of based. Uh, but that's a good idea, like from the game developer standpoint. Like if you don't understand something, you can basically just run around and find these uh, these uh, flames, and then uh, you have your clue. So you basically never need to leap uh, and go watch a tutorial on YouTube. You know, that's good. The fuck is this? Uh, oh, terminal. Uh, more reading. Ipi, uh, Ipacious, uh, Hipacia, Hi, Paysha, Hipatias, Hipatias. But what are these, bro? I, I'm just murdering these words. 
uh, they won. We finally set uh, out uh, from the from the dam today. The site at Athena and Cornelius picked the site that Athena and Cornelius picked uh, for the city isn't far from vegetation making uh, makes isn't far but the vegetation makes the going difficult we found the secondary supply site uh, easily enough thanks to alexander jenner's instructions uh, but while i still couldn't have i still have to compile a detailed inventory it seems that many of the more complex materials are in bad are, are in bad shape uh, they must have expected the simulation to fulfill its purpose a, a lot sooner but then uh, they probably expected all 12 of us uh, to be here there uh, from day one not just Athena Athena is the uh, robot and uh, all 12 is probably the humans you know whatever tonight we have to set uh, we have to use the two re recharging pods uh, that we brought from the dam uh, in four hour shifts Oh wait, the dam, that's where we started, yeah, true. That's where you wake up uh, after... After the fucking... Uh, that was principle one. Maybe start from introduction. From the, from the introduction to who we are. To are we there yet? Uh, we come from. Where we're going. And why you'll need snacks. By Valerie Con Romeo, Romeo, bro, this reading is just so like. It's not even the sometimes not sometimes people point uh, at the last few hundred or thousand years of human history and say, "Look how ugly it all it all is." Uh, look at the look at what a mess we've made. Maybe modernity, what maybe mo modernity, modernity, was a bad idea. Maybe we should stick to living like cavemen, and I get it. It is uh, it is ugly and messy, but the mistake uh, is thinking that we're that where we are right now is the end point. That this is the adulthood of human species. I mean, try to apply what you know about human development to human history. Think about babies. Babies are ugly. Admit it. We all know it. They look like tiny pe old people covered in mucus, and they have soft heads, and they are, and they grow into children, tiny sociopaths uh, with underdeveloped brains, and then they become teenagers, pimply, self-righteous lunatics driven by hormones, and then slowly, if you're lucky, they gra gradually become adults. If you if you're lucky, the development of a human. Uh, individual is always ugly and messy but the that's the point it's development towards something the same applies to humanity as a whole our ideology scale ideological scale uh, on, a, on a geological scale what the fuck we've barely just just come into existence we've gotten through the baby phase uh, just about survived uh, our childhood and now we're but we're barely teenagers. Shopping, stopping here would be a disaster. Would be disastrous, and a betrayal of everything that we st we could still be become. Uh, we may feel the weight of history on our shoulders, but this is just the prologue. Uh, to put it in pop culture terms, we haven't even made it out the tutorial yet. God damn, true. Dead city. From consideration of beginnings and ends, endings by Elwin. Uh, I think all that time Athena spent in the dead city changed her. I don't think she had conceived of the goal before. I think she believed fully in the naivety of optimistic ideas of electron adrenaline. But walking through those ruins and visceral is a visceral experience, and she sp spent a great deal of time there looking for resources. It's the sheer amount of death that gets to me. Uh, it's the sheer amount of death that gets to me. Uh, 
how many animals saw our ancestors killed how many of the of uh, how many many to the point of extin extinction entire species eradicated something sometimes uh, for the most superficial reasons whenever humans arrive somewhere death would follow uh, that's kind of crazy how uh, for entire entire species eradicated sometimes for the most superficial reasons whoever whenever humans arrive somewhere death would follow okay and then the great blowback the deaths of billions of thinking beings the extinction extinction of human humanity itself is too horrific to truly imagine but i suspect the founder spent a great great deal of time doing just that that's when she must be, have realized that there was no way uh no way back to the growth obsessed all consuming civilization of the past um i mean like how might i have to unpack what the fuck did i just read bro oh uh, this was baby steps you know we're kind of in the beginning this is the, their little journal yeah when they left the dam and this is just them being in a dead city yeah cool interesting interesting um, yeah where do we go next four oh it's here and it's literally here alternative option let's see this one let's get this one on on fleek <laughs> what is this? Dawn. Achem. I don't know what I have to do now. <laughs> I don't know what I... Oh my god, wait. What? Doesn't work through the glass. But if I... Then I hop on and just push it off. Right, does that work? That don't work. It's the only way for me to turn it on and then select those two. Then I can turn it off. Then I cannot pick this one up. I can't even push it. Oh, no, no. I know, I know, I know, I know. Keep connections there. But then I'm a fucking retard. Oh, it's okay. There. Yeah, you can keep the connections now. I remember. I mean, you could do that before, I think so. Nothing new. I hope y'all uh, can hear me well. I'm gonna lower the volume to 7.2 decibels minus. Let's see if that's a little bit better. Let's talk to Byron. Tell me, what did you make of New Jerusalem? Ah, new Jerusalem, let's think about it. Uh, it's bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> New Jerusalem? Nah, it's not, I think it'd be bigger. Uh, it's lovely. Feels like a museum. It's beautiful but decaying. It's falling apart, man. It's fantastic, self-contained, self-sufficient, everything is so harmonious. No, <laughs> definitely not. Um, self-contained, that's true. But harmonious, self-sufficient, not really. Because the energy power, you know, problem. I think... Uh, Feels like a museum is correct, I think. That's what happens when all you can think about is the past. We had such ambitions in the beginning. But now it's all turned inwards. We've lost faith in ourselves, in our humanity. All we need to do now is finish that mm. dome and we'll be trapped in our perfectly neat little tomb. Ah, oh, that's shit, bro. 
Hmm. I want to ask you a question. Of course. Ask away. Tell me about yourself. I'm someone who was born a long time ago, when we couldn't afford to romanticize the past and demonize progress, when the value of human civilization was evident because it was so close to being gone. I'm someone who believes that human beings are important, terribly, desperately important, because intelligent life is rare and precious. I suppose you could say I'm old-fashioned. That's a little bit... I mean, yeah. What's the role of the puzzles in our culture? When Alexandra Drennan was trying to find a way of creating true AI, she stumbled upon the idea that curiosity and playfulness are core characteristics of intelligence. So she built the simulation around a game, because playing is part of what makes us human. We also retain some of that code, as I'm sure you noticed when you were booting up. Because of that, puzzles have always been important to our culture. To me, they represent the idea that the application of reason can lead us forward. None of which explains why these puzzles are here or who built them, but I think it shows that there must be some kind of intent behind them, perhaps a test. Um, yeah, what to think about the mega structure? It's a mystery. Not just because it's technologically far ahead of us, but because we genuinely don't understand its purpose. And I think that's wonderful. It's just what we needed as a civilization. You and Alcatraz seem to have an odd relationship. Because we disagree on just about everything, you mean? Well... Here's the secret. Al is honest. He believes what he believes because it seems right to him, not because it gives him power over others. I respect that. In fact, I prefer that to someone who agrees with me just because I'm one of the first companions. Hmm. True. Good luck, Byron. Honesty is pretty rare these days, I'm gonna be honest. I always love the fast movement of games, you know? What is this? Another terminal? Let's check it out. Trevor. The life of Trevor. Trevor, uh... Percival Donovan. Uh, known to his friends simply as Trev, uh, never as Percy, was part of the extended lifespan project uh, that formed the backbone of the simulation and the archive. Uh, he helped to put the hardware that made all of us uh, possible, like Alexander Drennan. Uh, he left behind a series of messages to the future, but like Alexander Drennan, but unlike Alexander Drennan or Arcadi Cherny. Chernyshevsky, Chernyshevsky, uh, he was forgotten. No, not one building or street in New Jerusalem is named after him. I dug up his files uh, from the archive, uh, and I've been thinking about them a lot. Huh, Trevor. So I heard that Alexandra is recording these time capsules for you out there, I guess. Robot people of the future, hi. And I thought to myself, surely mm. they'll want to hear more than the wisdom and insight of a brilliant scientist like Alexandra Drennan. Surely they also want to know what I was thinking, a dumbass hardware engineer from Staten Island. Tell us about your insights, Trevor. Why did you spend your last months on Earth helping a crazy old Russian guy build the world's biggest backup drive? Well, let me tell you my story. When I was, yeah, yeah, yes, Frank, I'm recording right now. Uh huh. No, no. Y you know what? Why don't you go? F Unlucky, bro. Through the door.
Oh wait, we got a jammer over here. Ooh. Nothing over here. What is this? That's the blue one. Mm. Oh, that's just the basic one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So... I'm not able to bridge the gap. Uh, but that's blue and I need to get... Uh, I need to get blue and red together and then I need to use another one of these to change it. Wait, let me see. Let me see over here. There's nothing else? I've played this part before just saying but I remember being a little bit stuck on here. That's a deep sound. Like, no, you won't. I really need to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. easy. There. Now I got green. <laughs> what I Oh there we go. Wait. What's all the one back, I think? There we got it. We got it. Easy. It was pretty easy. I think I used a spent a lot more time yet uh, last time. Oh, group call? I have good news, and I have bad news. Still no idea what those particle clouds are, but I've managed to fix the transport system. I mean, I fixed another bit of it. Well, it goes to one more station now. Don't complain. Two stations are better than none. Mm. What was that? What if was I didn't know any better, I'd say it was sabotage. The whole system is a mess. Let's not make any assumptions. Yaku, what does the next site look like? It's a plateau in the mountains. Seems like more of an open area with scattered structures, less enclosed. Couldn't tell much from the drone feed. There's a lot of trees. Looks pretty though. Okay. Keep exploring everyone, but stay alert. Hmm. We're going there. I don't have the highest graphics on this game, just saying. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of dog in the, out there. You no, know, you know what that means. Over there. Where is it? Huh. What's over there? <laughs> I'm supposed to go over there. I'm supposed to be, supposed to be walking down this alleyway. Oh. Hmm. Whatever, let's go. Let me speed run this shit. That is not how that works. Easy. 
enough. Well, hold on, hold on. Uh oh, wait. This does not work. Ugh, reset the shit. I'm gonna reset this shit. What does it do? What does it do? Please, please, please. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Uh, every single trial must overcome its creator and then it sacrifice one of the sparks. And uh, it will free, uh, it will free the fire hidden in this labyrinth. Wow. Nope. Looks like Prometheus has given us a way to circumvent some of these puzzles. So each puzzle has a back door i guess the mythological prometheus was kind of a trickster so that tracks Wait, hold on they know all that shit they know they know they know philosophy hello they know philosophy i wonder what happened why they did not make them super smart like the androids. They specifically made them a little bit retarded. You know? Wait. If we do this. Put it here. No, no, wait, 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 I put this, I put these. <sighs> wait, I put this. Here. I'm gonna put this and this, I get red. I put it here. I have to get on this side, you know? I have to get on this side, you know. There, I did it. I need red too. Ugh, muck. What a muck. That's fine, that's fine. And then red. Then I need red. Uh, but then I got I got red, so that'd be this and this. There, I did it. Genius. I'm just A the solid best. Solution. Well done. I'm just the best. For real, dog. Mm, what's up, Byron? Mm, let's see where we go next. We go there. That's pretty easy. That's pretty easy right there. That's pretty easy. There it is. Number seven. Okay. Need one. Uh. How do I? Is there anything I can pick up? Oh, I see. I see. I see this thing.
Так, 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 так. To do is I need to get in on top, right? I need to get on top. So that would be like this. Sliding down. Interesting. Uh, wait, uh, where's the where's the fan? idea right now oh look at that oh and then we locked it up yeah we locked it up with a little lock up as well that one there we go Look, we locked it up, we locked it up, we locked up the fan. Um, but then, uh, <laughs> wait now. Uh, how does that work? Oh, we locked that one up too. Eh, too easy, too easy, too easy. Easy. Melville, what did you just upload? A photo? I mean, technically you're right, but... Is that? I can't tell what that is. How did you even manage? You're, you're literally taking a picture with your eyes, Melville. I, I don't even know how to make my eyes go out of focus. Clearly you've never listened to one of Herman's speeches. Some of us are busy doing actual science, not just sightseeing. Thank you. What the fuck? Let's reach, just check out some of this. Uh, we're building near our base camp. I wasn't entirely sure what to call it. It looks like a temple of sort, astrology themed. Maybe uh, I'm reading too much into it. I do that. It doesn't seem to be active in any way, uh, but I can't help to think that it's, uh, the, the design implies some sort of some kind of significance, like a like it's hiding a secret. But then again, I mean, my maybe my imagination is getting to me. Notes for noted. Notes for puzzle. What was this called? Notes on puzzles present down. It seems that uh, each of the structures on the island, uh, with the exception of the mega structure itself, sur uh, is surrounded by a cluster of puzzles resembling those found in the simulation. Hijacking, code design, whatever. What an incredible stru structure. This is weird. I was like, hmm. What's 1K like? Hey. Hey, I'm curious. But has anyone actually met 1K? By the, fa uh, by the founders? Pistons. I hope he's interested in mechanical engineering or something. We desperately need more people to fix the To keep the city functional. So we don't have to rely on Melville to repair stuff. That Pellegrino fixes. Hey! Hmm. 
Man, so fucking long. I hate, my, I hate my parents just talk loudly. Bro, oh my god, bro. Live, living here is a fucking nightmare, bro. For real. I can't even enjoy my free time, bro. I work, come home, just get fucking annoyed, like harassed, bro. I gotta move out, bro. You trap one mayor in, in his office for a week and you're marked for life. <laughs> what? Remember when you fixed the door to the mayor's office? What? How long was Herman stuck in there? You trap one mayor in his office for a week and you're marked for life. <laughs> Hope he's an artist. Uh, what we really need is, an, is new stories, new ideas to lift our spirits. Rodam Dame. Rodadam. Rodam. Ni. Arena. You know, if we just kept growing, we wouldn't have to worry about this. We wouldn't have to imprison the poor 1k in a uh, cage of expectations. 1k will be whatever the proge progenitor intended him to be. Uh, whatever the founder foresaw when she established the goal. He's inclusive. He's inclusive, which is a very fine start. He's a he is inclusive, which is a fine, very fine start. I don't know who I am and will be. i still deciding. I don't see a con I don't see a contradiction between engineering and art. I want to explore. I'm sure the founder's intent will reveal itself in time. I will find my own path. I don't see a contradiction between engineering and art. Are they very different? I mean, it's... Art is subjective, but like... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm, just, uh. Uh, just, uh, messenger. My cousin's saying that World War Three started. I don't know, bro. Whatever. I don't see a contradiction between engineering and art. I think that's correct. I don't think there is. Could be well engineered. But no, engineering is about being effective. I don't think so. That's correct. Uh, I want to explore. Yeah, I guess. Looks like you got a perfect opportunity. Treasured 1k. I've been begging to be assigned on a scouting exploration for ages. But I'm just stuck here in the city with the walls closing in on me. Uh, getting, out, getting to go on adventure is a huge blessing. Wow. City news. The long awaited the mayor news has once again called for calm uh, and promises that New Jerusalem will be safe so long as its citizens do not forget the ideals the of the goal as set forth by the uh, founder. Okay, we met in New Jerusalem if you remember. I spoke to my friends, this whole mysterious island uh, expedition the thing uh, has has the city a bit on the edge uh, the, they have some questions for you before I make any introduction uh, do you consent gathering and sharing with your, your personal data or what am I signing up to <laughs> look my friends just want some assurance uh, that you're the right kind of person if you want you're the right kind of person if you want to know what's really going on, you'll have to play along. You can back out of this anytime. If you don't, but if you don't engage with the process, then well, you won't get to engage with the process at all. It's up to you. Please don't contact me again. <laughs> what? 
But if I... I consent, I guess. Good choice. There are six questions. Standard vetting procedure. We'll get right. We'll get the best results if you answer in whatever way is most true to you. Question one: Which is more important for making good decisions, compassion or knowledge? Uh, making a good decision, of course. Of course, knowledge. What? Thank you. Question two. Uh, compassion is like the feeling, right? It's like how you feel. Uh, question two. Is it ever okay to lie or misdirect in order to keep a secret? Yes, lying can be okay. I reject the terms of your question. I reject the terms of your question? Yes, lying can be okay. I see. My friends will be most interested in this particular answer. Question 3. When people do wrong, do they deserve to be punished for it uh, beyond what is necessary for your own protection? Uh, when people do wrong, do they deserve to be punished? Oh. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Bro, the chair I'm sitting on just just is literally the 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 ass sweat machine, bro. Like I sit down, I meet Mila begins wet sweating. I gotta get a new chair, but I'm just so fucking massive, bro. Like I'm, I'm 110 kilograms, kil kilograms, kilos, uh, weigh. Also like two meters tall. I gotta get a chair that's like super solid. And very few are that, you know. Very few chairs are actually super solid for big guys like me. Uh, let's see. Question three: When people do wrong, do they deserve to be punished for it? beyond what is necessary for your own protection for my own say um, somebody kills somebody right for your own protection see someone kill somebody second degree murder or first degree murder you put them in jail. And I'm good. I'm safe. I mean, yeah. But, but you know, like... I dislike the question. <laughs> I... I dislike the question. I do kind of dislike the question, you know, but like... When people do wrong, do they deserve to be punished for it beyond what is necessary for your own protection? So people will be punished more than what's needed for my own protection. Yes, bad behavior deserves to be punished. True. No, no one deserves to be su to, to, to suffer unnecessarily. I don't, I don't, I just don't know. I just like the question. So, yes, I'm a maniac. Two, I'm a little bit more sound. But then, uh, I let, ba I basically let, uh, then, but like, you see, what is necessary, right? For my own protection? For my own. So like, say, uh, <laughs> uh, in game, in game, say a fent dealer in game gives me fake fent. Then a friend of mine goes GG, game ended because of that. It's just something I saw on Twitter. Okay, just this is just an example. What they did to him on that Twitter video, uh, probably y'all probably know what I'm, which I'm talking about. If y'all <laughs> Use Twitter. Uh, anyways, let me just skip this fucking topic, bro. Um, yeah, fuck them. Phew, that was more controversial. I'm glad it's not me to answer these. Question four. Uh, now it gets metaphysical. In your opinion, can the world be reduced to mechanical parts, or is existence where than we all really know? It's both. 
<laughs> the universe is reducible to a universal basic law. Mm. It's both or it's neither. How can how can the universe be uh, reducible to universal basic law and uh, be weird? No, it doesn't make sense. It's neither. I think it's not reducible to basic law and it's not weird. It's like it's too big. But I I I like to think that it's reducible to universal basic law. I like to think. But we just don't know. We don't know, right? We don't. Why is why is Doja acting like this, bro? Like standard vetting procedure, and like saying you answer this. I I like to think that it's reducible to basic law. It just we just have to invest more time into it, more knowledge, right? Like uh, the particle accelerator is trying to find the the whatever atom or whatever. Like you know, we just have to work more on it, and I think it's reducible. In the end, we have to just work for it. Ooh, question five: Can things really change for the better or for good? Uh, for the can things really change for the better? For good, or do good times and bad times come in cycles? I think everything is in cycles. Change was better. Eventual change for the better. Always followed by the change for the human progress shows things can get better and stay that way. Nope. 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 Final question. Which is more important for the success of a civilization? Respect for the lessons of, the, of our past. Rewrite the rules for the future. We should not let our future define our, be defined by our past. We should not disregard the wisdom br uh, which brought us here. 100%. 1,000 million percent. I mean, that's just... You, ha you have to be a dumbass to not say that. Oh, hold on. I got a, I got a last minute addition. Alright, it's a weird one. I know who this, who this came from. Alright, question 7. Can praying for something make it more likely to come true? Oh! <laughs> Oh, what? I remember this one, yeah. It's like, this question is to wait for something for it to come true. Yes, prayer can make things come true. No. Prayer is no, has no effect on the world. Oh, it's just... But can praying for, for something make it more true? It's too vague. And it's, that's the last minute addition. That's difficult to translate our infinite realities into non binary Nonetheless, I suggest you. Uh, I know it's difficult to translate our infinite reality into binary language. Nonetheless, I suggest if you have any uh, neutral inclination towards either idea, uh, you answer the w you answer that way, uh, even if it's not strictly co correct. But insist I'll by if you insist, I'll communicate your apathy to your command co companions. I see no way to choose. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a. I don't want to be a. Oh no, I don't want to be a moron. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. This one is super hard, bro. Oh, it's like... I'm, I'm a white liberal kid. I mean, not really liberal or... Br br liberal but like i bl i do believe in the free market you know but i don't believe in uh in going full cowboy and allowing people to for example choose their 
choose your own gender, you know? Which I don't have. I don't have a hate. Wait. God, hey! Oh my fucking god, bro. I hate my parents, bro. But that is like... I think I spoke this. I spoke about this in my car talks, but like... Bro, this family has some fucking issues, bro. I gotta move the fuck out, man. I'm not gonna lie. This family has fucking issues. My dad is like super clingy. Like, you can see that he's like... He's like doing bad in life, you know? And... Uh, uh, man, I just, just, I just don't want to invest any energy into this shit, you know, I just, it's not my fault, bro, you got issues, bro, like, <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't see myself, I don't see myself in the position to help, uh, you, my dad, so like, you know, it is what it is, however, however you want to, you want to be a retard, be a retard, I mean, it's your life, right, I, it's just not my, not my problem to cry about and, and lose sleep on, you know? Like, whatever, bro. I'm, I'm 21 years old. I can happily uh, move out and start living uh, soon. Soon, right? I think I want to save up some money. Then move out, rent, you know? I mean, it'll be... I'll, I'll be happily living alone, you know? Like, it won't be a biggie. It will be no biggie for me, you know? Like, this guy thought he could, like, when I was younger, I was really spoiled. This guy motherfucking, uh, like, bought me all sorts of toys and shit like that. I you know, my materialistic things are just not the key. It's not, it's not what makes you a good person. You, it's not buying, it's not showing your wallet. It's you as a person that... I think this guy maybe is just finding out that he's... I mean, I think my dad is probably finding out that he's not just the best person. He's just not the best. He's very... He's just... He just... I don't know, bro. Like... A ball of issues, you know? A whole... whole ball full of issues. Mental illness. We come back to this question. Can prayer make things come true? feel like it depends on what you feel is true and what is not true but prayer I think it can <sighs> I think uh, prayer can help you as a person you know believe that I mean prayer can can can, can really prayer can make you look at things differently you know when you sit back and you focus on something you know out there you know it like gives you kind of perspective you can uh, you can like uh, then after a prayer you might feel like better you know like everything is good at life you grounded yourself you know and you can perform your best you know feel like prayer does that to a person it helps really boosts you as a person it strengthens you you know strengthens you and through prayer and through prayer by god strengthening you you can make things come true right that's what i want that's what i want to say god works through through us not does not just do things right does not drop i mean god does not just give put money in your bank account you know it's it's you who does it right and so i feel I feel saying prayer has no effect on the world is really wrong i don't i don't believe that i do think prayer has an effect so i'm gonna say it does Forward, I forward that your answers to my friends. Taking things further, fine. <clears throat> it's good, OG.
we're back, we're back. That was a deep one. That was crazy. That right there was crazy. I gotta move out, bro. I gotta... I gotta live my own life. When that day comes, is uh... That'll be a good day. <coughs> let's see, let's see. I gotta open this one up in the end. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for that. We got... Let's see, this will be the same shebang, wasn't it? Won't it? Oh, I need the green too. Need the green to be there. Can reach this. Can I reach it through? I can. Uh, let me think. Let me look at this. Cause uh, I will need this and that to go there and there. <coughs> Whoops. I need the green firstly. Uh, I need the green. I need one more item. I need one more item, bro. Take a sip of Fanta. Oh, wait, how do I get green though? I need red. That's fine. Then I need the cube on there. Speed running this right now. Need the green. <coughs> there we go. Oh, we got now this going. So we can now target that. Can we? Can we actually do that? Maybe with the cube on top. Yeah, with the cube on top, we can do it. Wait, do we need it? Maybe if we have the green up on here, of these two, and the cube, 
And then this just can be. Let me, let me look at it. Wait. This has to be there. You got this. Which basically has this. This. And this. And then this. <coughs> there. Then we take this. This. There, we got it. You got it locked down now. We got it. Pretty easy. The bridge ring seems to be fully charged now. Try accessing the tower, 1K. No, oh, we got all of them now. W. Yep, that's the only thing li light lit up. I think we're gonna go back and do the uh, the, the hidden level part, the which what we, the one we saw in the in the first. We're gonna do the uh, the, the 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 one hidden the one map uh, the puzzle in the beginning, basically. Because we just kind of went ahead of this era straight up, there, but there's I think more puzzles puzzles to do in the first one. Can't even go there. Locked up. Mm. Ooh. There we go. I don't know if this is relevant, but St. Edward believed that Tetraminos represented the name of God and God's ability to reshape the world. True, but he was also mad as a hatter. One man's madness is another man's genius. There. Right. When I was booting up, I was terrible at the Tetromino arrangers. Those were actually the only ones I was good at. What? I'm just saying. Hey, fresh celeb is streaming. Yeah, that's cool. That was a cool little sequence. I've been through this, of course. I've done this part. I think I've done. I've come to the part where we go home again. I don't remember. Is that some kind of anti-gravity? I'm not sure. Could be, I guess. Hey, yo. In the beginning, the gods shaped humankind out of the clay of the earth and gave them life with their own breath. But who is closer to perfection? The creator or the created? Mm, what, the, what the hell are you talking about, lady? The creators. Because they, they came from nature. The created because they come from art, not chaos. They are the same. They're, they, they share the same breath. Neither, they cannot be compared. Neither, because perfection is impossible. When humanity was shaped from clay by the gods, the creators, I mean, who is closer to perfection? Who is closer to perfection, the created or the creators? A man was shaped from clay. Closer to perfection? I guess it depends on the creators, you know? 
but uh, they created because they're a form of art, not chaos. But chaos is a uh... <sighs> art, nah. Like, what the hell, are you talking about? The creators, they're the same. They share. It. I'm, I'm split between these two. Neither because perfection is impossible. True. I mean, it is. It is possible, but like, there are margins, right? You always gonna have margins. Neither they cannot be compared. They created because they come from art, not chaos. Art is not perfect. I mean, yeah, I guess it can be. Not chaos. The creators. They come from nature. Does nature mess up? I don't think so. Nature is blind, but the hand of the craftsman works with precision. Hmm. Oh. When Prometheus saw that humankind was more alike in nature to the gods than to the animals, he stole the secret of fire from Olympus and shared it with the mortals. Was his theft justified? Yes, because knowledge belongs to all. Yes, because parents should not leave their children helpless. No, because knowledge must be earned, not given. Was it just was the not the not great fire? The not zone in the first place. Give the fire to us. Maybe not justified, but was it a good idea? Yes. No, fire was not uh, for humans kind to have. No, because knowledge must be earned, not given. Yes, knowledge belongs to all. I mean, not everyone needs to know everything, you know. But like, <clears throat> if everyone had everything, you know, kind of communism, I feel like. But, uh, I mean, it's a very liberal point of view. Thought, the idea. Um, yes, because parents should not leave their children helpless. Zeus did not create fire. It's not his own in the first place. No fire was not for humankind to have. You have forgotten that all deities reside in the human breast. Angered by the betrayal of Prometheus, Zeus punished humankind by creating Pandora. He gave her a box, and when she opened it, from inside escaped sorrow and suffering. All that remained within was hope. What does this mean? Hope may still and be found if you're willing to look for it. Zeus intended for humankind to, to have hope. It should have been released. Hope itself is an evil, like sorrow and suffering. We we're lucky to not escape. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Zeus intended for uh, humankind to not have hope, so it remains trapped. We suffer, but do not anticipate it. It's a blessing. As Zeus intended. We suffer. But we don't anticipate it. It's a blessing. As Zeus intended. As Zeus intended humankind to have hope. It should have been released. Hope may still be found. If you're willing to look for it. Nah, I hope you, you have hope. Hope, stuff is an evil, like sorrow. It is though, like in all the movies, hope you should not have hope. You know. Those without hope say so to comfort themselves. Creature of clay, you stand before the fire. Will it make you whole, or will it destroy you? Consider the shadows cast by the flame, but do not mistake them for truth. What? I'm so confused. Guys, look at my stream. The beam 1K activated is connecting to the pyramid. That looks like a massive amount of power. 
We need to talk about what just happened. Thoughts? I'd say there are two distinct issues here. What is the being 1K spoke to, and what is the function of the beam? Let's start with the Sphinx. It seems similar to the apparition in New Jerusalem. Presumably the same technology. What I'd like to know is what we're dealing with, ontologically speaking. Was this a sentient being or some kind of recording? I think it was sentient. It seemed to react was I was saying. I'm not sure the interaction did not wasn't long enough. I don't, I don't think so. I think it's 100 percent sentient. That what? doesn't necessarily mean that it's intelligent. Let's assume for a moment that 1K is right and it is intelligent in some sense. What really matters here is what it was trying to achieve by asking those questions. It seemed sort of threatening, to be honest. It was testing me. No idea. I think it was just being cryptic to annoy me. I have no idea. It seemed sort of threatening, to be honest. It seemed sort of threatening. I did not really. It was testing me at 100%. No idea. I think it was just being cryptic to annoy me. No, no way. It was testing me. Testing you to what? See if you're worthy? That's an interesting thought. You solve the puzzles, you get access to the towers, you enable a beam, and if you do it three times, you get access to the megastructure. Maybe, but why? I don't know. It's a mystery. Don't you like mysteries, Al? Everybody likes a good mystery. You know what I like? Certainty. Come on, Al. I'll live a little. We should be careful. We don't know what these apparitions are. We don't know that these apparitions are benign. We're all doomed. <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on, I'll live a little. That's the spirit. 1K, keep solving puzzles. The rest of you, as you were. Yeah. No, we don't go up. We'd be running real quick though. Who's down there? I can go down here? Oh, bro. Okay. There's a pulse out here again. I knew that someone was stupid enough to jump down there. Cool. Can I go up here? Water. Let's ask for a minute. Now there's a beam, yeah. Oh. Whoops. I couldn't fall down last time. Why could I now? What the fuck is this? Oh, but, but then I was doing the puzzle. Oh, you know. But the... Whatever. Whatever. I'm not gonna question it. I'm going out. Hey, uh, Jakut? Melvin. Did something break? Uh, you're a big fan of Jakut's cat. <laughs> Listen, one day that furry little demon is gonna pee on the wrong cable and all of New Jerusalem will just turn off. <laughs> Forget about the megastructure. He's the biggest threat to our security. Oh my god. And progress on the particle crowd clouds. Yes, but I'm not liking the results. What are the results? Confusing, irritating, infuriating. Take your pick. I'm by yourself. Fanders, pistons. You want my autobiography now? Fine. I'm one of New Jerusalem's chief engineers. I'm in charge of city maintenance and power management. I'm old as dirt, although not quite as old as that fossil Byron. 
In short, old Grumpy keeps stuff running. Do you have any hobbies? Hobbies? You think I have time for hobbies? That's cute. If I had time for hobbies, all of you would be dead. Mm. Real nothing. What do you want me to say? I like bubble baths, candy, and the concept of Tuesdays. Cities don't maintain themselves. If you don't put real effort into keeping stuff running, it all falls apart in just a few decades. Civilization is always on the brink of collapse unless we do something about it. And I do. Mm-hmm. What's your evaluation of the mega structure? It's big. It's too big. And it's got a lot of energy running through it. Frankly, I think we should be pooping our robot pants. See, that's what I mean about the language libraries. <laughs> pooping our pants. Really? <laughs> pooping our pants. <laughs> language libraries. It gives a character. That's the terminal. There are question marks, you see? Like, if you look up on top in the Skyrim, like, compass. There are question marks. Like, what are these? Excuse me? What are these question marks? Oh, it became bigger. What is this? I think we're done here for now. Let's head over to the next site. I have elevation. It's strange that some of these puzzles seem disconnected from the rest. Like it's all unfinished. Or still evolving. Wait. I can't have both. Uh, but I can. If I go here. Nope, that does not work. If I do like this. That does not work. Hum, 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 hum. Now, some freaking way I should be able to turn that on.
Oh, you goddamn goober. What is this? Why is this one called Elevation? Oh, hold on, hold on. What if I... Like, we are... It is possible to make blue and green to become red. Mm, white, but we need blue. That would be... And... Oh, the f Fucking shit, man, that sound was so loud. But we do need... Hara need... That's green. Oh my god, that's so loud. Oh. Coming from this side. <clears throat> and that opens up now like that. But then. For some reason it's perfectly lined up like that, you know? That's, that needs, needs blue. What am I doing? Oh my god, I was just, li I got literally thrown for a loop. I got, I got thrown there for a loop. Uh, need blue there. Very simple, isn't it? Here, no, I mean, get blue hair. Hara, hara, hara. Thing I can bring here is because uh, this will definitely need to be here. And I have red, and I will. I, I need blue, so I'm gonna need green aware. So this has to be brung out, you know. With elevation, wait, 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 elevation. What shape or form do I elevate anything here? No way that works.
I'm a monkey. I need the green. Do I actually need the green? Maybe I was doing something right there. Wait. Maybe I do need green over Nothing else nowhere, bro. This is kind of confusing me. Super confusion right now. Elevation, what does it mean? Well, homie, where the hell is the elevation part? I'm just gonna be honest, there is none. In reality, I can really get away by just... Because that needs to be blue. So, I actually need to just make a blue one. Inside of there. That's it, right? There, there, no wait. Oh my God, wait. I can lock it up. I can lock it out now. Wait, 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 if I if I give this blue, I mean red, I can then lock it out, you know?
Hmm, I'm confusion. <sighs> Now I need the red in here, you know, but how do I keep it locked out? How do I keep the red locked in there? So retarded. Did I just do it? Oh my god, what? I need elevation. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I know how to fix this. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do it, but... Oh, it's fucking green, bro! <laughs> it's fucking green! <laughs> Listen... We come back to this one one time later, you know? Let's see what's here in the wilderness. Anything over here? Nope. We're just exploring by now. We're just checking out this shit. Wouldn't it be dope if like... You found like a floating uh, Smith & Wesson revolver from Sarah Sam. Oh my god, that would be so fucking cool. That'd be so cool, bro. Like, you ran around here and just saw floating Smith & Wesson. I've been here. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're done with this. <laughs> Let's go back. Imagine if there was, like, a monster running after you as well. Like the only or real safe areas. What is this? Another set of golden gates. These must be connected to the ones near the mega structure. There was a harder set of puzzles in the simulation, right? And maybe they're like that. I know one case probably like Yay, harder puzzles! But to me, that sounds like error code 704. No thanks. Hmm, so if you finish the bonus puzzle, so you get you get to open a door. That's how that works. No thank you. 1k happy with puzzles? Uh, maybe I am, maybe I am. Let me get the fuck back, bro. What am I doing? Uh, 
Let me go back. Here. Bro, where the fuck is the exit? It's pointing this way, but like there's no way to get up on this. Is it in here? No way I've ran through here. And it's on top. Oh. Now I know. There, here, 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 I think I found it. This is the, this is, these are the stairs that lead down into the center, right? Hey, partner? Padna? And that's a dead end. Hey, Byron? Nello, I mean. Why are they both yellow, bro? Are they? This one sucks, bro. <laughs> this, is the, this is the one I did. No, this is not the one I did. Oh, sucks. There, oh my god, I found it. Oh, phew! So annoying. Let's go back. The new mystery area, or we go back to the center? next mystery area I mean, I'm gonna be honest like I've not finished the extra ones I've not opened the golden gate uh, like whatever whatever Everybody, I'm sure you're all excited to check out the next site. But while you're there, remember that I'm still trying to fix the rest of the transport system. Maybe there's another one of those labs that 1K found. If there is, look for more documentation, please. A whole new set of puzzles. A whole new set of puzzles. I think this is where I ended off last time, actually. I might have finished these puzzles. No, I think I finished all these puzzles as well. Quantum tunneling. Yeah, 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 I finished this. But goddamn, this is crazy. Okay, we're back, we're back. I think I know how this works. You can pick this up through the hole. There. Easy. Let me take this one as well. Throw it through the hole. Driller. Driller. The drillers, okay. I got one of them at least. I can't help but notice that many of these structures are not strictly functional. There's a sense of aesthetics, of beauty here. This place might be meant to test us somehow, but perhaps there's more to it than that. Hmm. Interesting monument. Decorative for another puzzle. Why? Where the hell is it leading to? 
Um. Hey, Byron. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna do a little bit more of reading and then I'm gonna end it. New Theology 1. <laughs> From the New Theology by George Bernard Shaw. The object of the whole evolutionary process is to realize God. Uh, that is to say, instead of the old notion that creation began with a God, a personal being, uh, who, being perfect, created something lower than himself, the aim, is, uh, the aim of the new th theology is to turn that process the other way and to, con and to convince, conceive of the fourth b force behind the universe as work working up through imperfections, imperfection and mistake through imperfection and mistake to a per perfect organized being uh, having the power to fulfill its highest purpose okay in sense in a sense there is no god uh, as yet achieved there in a sense there is no god as yet achieved but there is that force at work making god struggling th through us struggling through the through us to become an actual organized ex existence enjoying what to many of us is the greatest conceivable ecstasy the ecstasy of a brain an intelligence actually conscious of the whole uh, and with the and with executive force capable of guiding it to a perfectly benevolent and harmonious end that is what we are working to and <laughs> if, I had to be, if I had a chance to be to just like summarize that it'd be cool but uh, but I understand we you know we, we think of God as perfect but maybe it's the other way around L1C from lives to first companions by R Randolph seven seven seven. After all, after these events, Niarm uh, decided to consult the writings of the ancient ancients. Uh, but while philosophy and religion interest her, it was art in all its forms that came as a revel revelation. Uh, to her delight, she discovered that meaning. Uh, was not something constructed purely out of logic or will, but that it could be, the, but but that it could also be found in stories. Meaning could be found in stories, yeah. That even when these characters and events of a story are not factual, they had a validity and weight, as in, as if they somehow were real after all. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I guess. She was astonished as uh, that such a profound existence was freely available to all humans, but concerned that too few took advantage of it. So she set out to enrich the inner lives of her fellow citizens by promoting the arts, starting with the legacy of Gehenna. Tale to little profiles. Paid little profile. Niaim sounds nice. I would like to meet her one day. She must know what the new Jerusalem. Drew. She must know more about the new about New Jerusalem art history than anyone. She must know more about New Jerusalem art history than anyone. I mean, yeah, like stories are art. Yeah, Leviathan. Leviathan from Introduction to Leviathan by Thomas Hobbes Nature The art where I, whereby God has made an grievance grievance the, the world grievance 
nature, the art where, whereby God has made and groovens the world. world. Nature is a is by the art of man, as in many other things. So in this also in in imitated. Oh my god! I cannot fucking read, bro. I cannot read for shit. Oh my god! Wait. There's nothing. I just, just my parents just knock on the door. Ask, hey, you want food? I'm like, bro, I'm a grown-up ass human being. I can do my own shit, whatever. So annoying. The sound, the sound track of this game, by the way, is top notch. Whatever. They can make an artificial animal, by the way. <laughs> Let me understand this. Nature is, nature is, but the art of man. As in many other things. So in this also imitated. So in this also imitated. That it can make an artificial animal. What? <laughs> this is this English way too complicated for me. I think it would be cool to see Ludwig. It would be cool. Not specifically Ludwig the Twitch streamer. But like just someone with an English masters. Like. To read this shit and like be like, yeah, this makes sense, you know? Anyways. For seeing life is but a notion of the of the limbs. The beginning there whereof is in some principal part within. Why may we not say that all automata engines that move themselves by springs and wheels as does a watch have an artificial life for what is the heart but a spring and the nerves but so many strings and the joints but so many wheels giving motion to the whole body such as was intended by the artificier Ar Artificer, artificer, oh my god. <laughs> Art goes yet further. Imitation, what that rational and most excellent work of nature, man. For by art is created that great leviathan called common, called a commonwealth, a state in Latina, in Latin civi, civitas, uh, which is but uh, an art of artificial man through a greater structure and strength uh, than that than the natural than the neutral uh, for those protection and the uh, and the defense it was intended and in which the sovereign sovereignty 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 and the sovereignty oh my god bro sovereignty is an artificial soul as giving life and notion to the whole I don't know what that 535 five, whatever lastly the pacts and covenants uh, by which the parts of this body politic were at first made set together and united resemble the fiat that fiat uh, or the let let us make man pronounced by God in, in the creation what is this 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 fucking crazy it's obvious that hope it's obvious that Hobbes has read Stratton and is uh, and is extrapolating the Talos principle to a level to the level of the state uh, but unlike Stratton all he wishes for the end of the day all he wishes for at the end of the day is a powerful ruler to control the machine to tell him what to do. It's obvious that Hobbes has read Stratton and is extrapolating Tao's principle to the level of state. But unlike Stratton, he wishes 
all he wishes for the end of the day at the end of the day is a powerful ruler to control this machine to tell him what to do I don't know bro I don't know what that means it's just way too it's way too fucked you know Let me not do the hate. <laughs> Let me not do this one. Oh my god, this become complicated. I don't even know. There's another one of those monuments. Pix monument, wooden plateau, E2 engraving. Leviathan, yeah, these are the ones that we got. Still think it's really weird. The um, this one is really weird. Whatever. Let's see the photo mode. That's us. We have 1000. Crazy. I like the color scheme being fully white, you know? <laughs> that's us! Bro, that's us! Crazy. Whatever, I'm ending it here, bro. My parents are just way too fucking up my ass, bro. Just knocking on the door, whatever, bro. I don't feel like... I just don't feel in the zone anymore, like... Ugh. Whatever, bro. Whatever. Ugh. Just gotta move out, bro. 21 years old. Soon to be 22. Loving my parents. It's fucking sad. Gotta save up some money, you know. I gotta save up, really. Just to... Like, I gotta... I gotta save up enough money to rent for a year. Without any concerns. So, like... I start renting. And then, like... Oh, like... It's not really working out. I don't, I don't know, man. I can just have the money saved up, you know? I can use it. <laughs> That's the idea. Whatever. I'm going to end it here. Edit this together and probably upload today, actually. We'll see. We'll see. Y'all have a good one, okay? See y'all next episode.